I'm too much? <laughs> uh, he said, no, I actually need more of you. So I, I appreciate that too. All of the uh, brigade chaplains who carried me, uh, the battalion chaplains who do all of the hard work, hey, thank you guys and gals so much uh, for all that you do. Uh, I want to take a little time today, uh, and the CG said a little bit of it, but I want to take a little time today to surmise uh, what a chaplain does. How do you spell out what a chaplain is? And how do you tell what a ch how a chaplain operates? You know, coming into the division, uh, I wanted to accomplish the same three goals that I've always had in my life since receiving the call to be a chaplain over 20 years ago. That is, I call them the three I's. Impact, empathy, and influence. Hold on, I know empathy is spelled with an E. <laughs> I'll tell you why I spell it with an I. I spell it with an I because it no, it no matter how empathetic people are to others, I want to be more empathetic. It doesn't matter if the young soldier is a troublemaker. It doesn't matter if he's not meeting the sad standard. It doesn't matter if he's on extra duty, he or she is on extra duty, or I've done the unthinkable. I think in my time and in my mind, I need to be soft. I need to be caring. I need to be kind. I need to be loving. I will acknowledge them and I will care for them before anybody else will. You see, my goal, my mission, my purpose is to take care and be a resource for soldiers in their pain, in their suffering, in their birth, their weddings, and even in their deaths of family members. I want to let them know that I'll be somebody who cares. I want to let them know in their most intimate times when they're sharing secrets that they won't tell anybody else, I won't judge you, I won't condemn you, and I won't throw you away. You see, it's nothing like being trusted, holding some of the finest warriors in their moments of weakness, when they're crying and telling you their life stories because they just can't go on throughout the day because they're overcome with life's events. You see, it's nothing like being able to hold them in your arms and increasing their strength. And when they walk out of that door, you know they're, they're stronger than when they walked in because they had heeded some of your advice impact. You see, my job is to let soldiers and commanders know that the chaplain is a combat multiplier. My mission was to know not some of the people in the division, but I wanted to know intimately every person in the division. Because if I know them, that gives them an opportunity in their times of weakness to know that I can be a soft shoulder to cry on a listening ear and a voice of assurity when they're doubting themselves. Influence, that's my third eye. I wanted to take soldiers and help them with their homework. I wanted to help them raise their GT scores through BCEL, BLC, and help them in their most intimate times with their life decisions. I wanted to help them to realize that their present condition is not their future condition. Why do I do this? Because I was a soldier with a 92 GT score and it had a leader who took time to help me. Why do I do this? Because I was a soldier with two Article 15s with chapter paperwork in my hand and it had a leader that took time and interest to help me believe in myself. To date, in 18 years as a chaplain, I've helped 70 soldiers to officer school, countless soldiers to be sergeant majors. I've served on dissertation committees of two officers and two sergeant majors, helping them get their PhDs. Influence, empathy, and impact. You see, the chaplain is a behind the scenes purveyor of faith. The chaplain is a behind the scenes warrior against the invisible wounds and pain that is not often displayed to the public. I hope and pray that I have been a good sh shepherd to this division's flock. I hope and pray that I have fed your souls with kindness, a warm smile, and a consistent effort. I hope and pray as I leave you that I achieve what my late mother's goal for me was, 
And that was to be a good man, a kind man, and a caring man. Let the division, let the bed that division say, Amen.